Well, hello there my game people, this is your fabulous host Viact here, and today I'm gonna play a game called The Detail, and this is episode 1, Where the Dead Lie, and uh, this is a comic book-like adventure game, or crime noir to be exact, and it's made by a Finnish studio called Rival Games, and uh, The Detail is actually out now on Steam for... PC, Mac and Linux, and I think it's less than 6 euro, I think, because I thought I saw a price cut for like uh, 25%, I think it was, but I'm gonna add uh, a link to the Steam uh, site in the video description box, so have no worries. And uh, I have to say, this is probably the kind of game that you would like to play if you like games such as... Uh, Telltale Games, The Walking Dead, for example, or HBO's uh, TV series The Wire. Anyhow, I'm gonna play the first episode, of course, because that's the only episode that's available at this time. And, uh, well, I have already mentioned it, but where the dead lie. And the game itself, the detail I mean, takes place in an American city. So it's time to play some the detail and I'm gonna start over from the very beginning. Just another murder investigation. It sounds strange, but to me that's all they are now. <laughs> Positive thinking there. That's the main character, by the way. Just another murder investigation until someone you know gets killed. That's when things get personal, when they hit home. That's when you start asking if you could have done something different, chosen different. And you keep asking until eh, you're playing out all those scenarios in your head and only to find out that you've gone down another path. But you probably wouldn't have. Not because of fate or anything, but because you are who you are, and that never changes. And that's true. You are who you are. And this is actually the very start here. To add them to dispatch, uh, 1097 arrived at scene. To Adam 7, Roger at 10.59, proceed with uh, the security check. Let's go. Yes, sir. Remember, Kate, we're only... We are here only to check out a known child molester. Okay, that sounds promising. And everything turns red. Okay, press and hold inside rotating circle to attempt picking the lock. Uh, okay, that went well. Okay, so you're actually gonna... Aha, that's how you do it. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Ah, miss. Okay, I was a bit too slow there. Uh, now we know we're coming. Uh, okay. Roger that. Missed that one. Okay, can shoot paths here. I'm just gonna move forward. Forward again. See where the asshole is hiding. Okay, now what? Got eyes on the girl, no sign of the suspect. But not for long, I bet. Holy shit, when you're talking about the trolls. 
Okay, he hit him here. He hitted him with a chair, I think. Okay, gonna block that. See how this goes. <laughs> Straight to hell, obviously. Okay, show cold. Now what? Uh, punch, blind. Ah, that sounds like a good idea. Just poke the fucker. Now grab. Yes, yeah, smack him in the face. <laughs> this is going to hell. All right. <laughs> yeah, I live for now. This has already put up a fight. The patrol will fill you in after being cleared by the medical. Yes, yeah, so I heard. Just stick him into the interrogation well room, I guess. Where are they? Okay. Who? I don't even know what you're talking about. Don't play me, motherfucker. We just found you standing over a little girl. Now, where are the others? What girl? Seriously. What is this all about? You slimy piece of... This is getting us nowhere, Tyrone. Let me handle this. Okay. So I can uh, pressure or grab the bastard. Um, All the decision making here. I'm gonna pressure him. Look, dipshit. I have two officers placing you at the scene. They literally caught you with your dick in your hand. Uh, they must have bad eyesight or maybe they're lying. Uh, gonna provoke this asshole. Bad eyesight, huh? Or was it just a tiny dick? Fuck you, pig. Uh, shouldn't have... Shouldn't I have a lawyer with me or something? You think so, huh? Hmm. Okay, grab him. You think I'm playing around here? What the hell? Reggie. You can't do this to me. I'll, I'll sue your ass. Do I look like I give a fuck? I'm really starting to like this guy. Reggie, what are you doing? Uh, tighten Okay, I'm gonna tighten the grip This is the part where you get hurt Bad Stop it, Reggie This isn't the way to go Well, he's a fucking child molester So, the hell with rules Normally I don't like police brutality But when it calls to child molesters And pedophiles and crap like that Then police brutality It's allowed At least in my opinion uh, okay, gonna back down or carry on? I think I'm gonna back down, actually, because I don't know the consequences. Maybe you're right. Christ, man. Uh, okay, gonna wait for the lawyer or offer deal. I hate lawyers, so I'm gonna go for offer deal. Okay, I tell you what. Uh, okay. Like a shorter punishment, I guess, or high security, or life in Supermax. What the fuck is Supermax? I think that's like a high secure prison. Uh, I actually don't know. I think I'm gonna go for life in Supermax. Okay, scum, scum like you don't deserve to live, but I'm willing to make an exception due to the circumstances. Tell me where the girl is and I let you live the rest of your life in a maximum security prison. No way, that, that ain't gonna happen. Out of the question. High security prison is your best hope. You avoid the needle and you might even get a chance for some nice male bonding. Just tell me where the girl is. You got yourself a deal. I help you find that little brat. I already got what I wanted from her. Oh, fucking, I just want to mm, punch him in the face. And 
And here we go. It has to be a hard life being a detective in a, you know, big city. A lot of crime, 24-7. SSDD, same shit, day after day. So this is all the people that has been working on the detail. The detail! And I swear that I remember some of these names. I don't know if they have worked at... Well, with the Max Payne series, I could be wrong, but I thought I saw a name there that I recall from the credits for Max Payne, either one or two. Okay. The Daily Tribune. Rape is behind bars. Child molester given 20 years at high security facility in landmark case. Alright. Paramedic taken for a ride. And I should of course add, how stupid of me, that uh, all the decision that you make in the game has a effect. Either a good or, you know, bad kind of way. Because the first time I played the detail I actually <laughs> used uh, ultra pol uh, police brutality on the child molester. And uh, this asshole actually got free because uh, his lawyer helped him to, well pretty much used the police violence thing to get him free. So I played out my cards in a different way this time and I think this is the best outcome that you can get when it comes to the child molester case. I mean it's way better to have him behind bars for 20 years than have him outside and all the shit you know that gets stuck on me for police brutality. So there you have it. I'm gonna talk to the lady now instead. God damn it! What's the matter, Reggie? Uh, it's just this job, Molly. It gets to me. No kidding. Hard day at the office, then, huh? Hard year, more like it. How's the back? Worse than the job. And it won't go away at retirement. You know, I could give you the number to a fantastic massage therapist. Okay. I thought you were my massage therapist. Oh, you know what I mean. Okay, did she? <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't know if she mean those other kind of, you know, massage therapists. You know, the Asian kind. Oh, anyhow. Thanks, Molly, but I got it under control. With those pills you've been, you've been taking those ever since I've known you. They aren't for free either, are they? I guess she means painkillers. Look, I've tried that massage stuff, it didn't do anything for me. Can we talk about something else now? Alright, Reggie, but you need to buy me that drink now. I'm starting to get the stink eye from Caesar. <laughs> Caesar! Okay, okay. So... Oh god damn it, hold on. Okay, it's Tyrone, my, well, partner, I guess, in the police force. Uh, well, when work calls, you better answer, you know, the policy rules. Yeah. We got work, Reggie. Does it have to be we tonight? It's your turn as primary, and you know it. Yeah, okay, you're outside, aren't you? With coffee. <laughs> Yeah, cops love coffee. You're a saint. Work, work. See you later. I try and swing by, but you know how it is. I know, go get them, detective. Yes, ma'am. So we're outside again, working. Kind of like Lethal Weapon, I guess. The older version. So I'm at the crime scene now, I think. I better take this, see what the lieutenant wants. Right, I check out the body in the meantime. Awesome graphics and characters as well. Uh, Detective Moore. Reggie, you at the scene yet? Yeah, just got here. 
How bad is it? It's a goddamn mess. Kirk looks like word got out already. The locals are swarming the place. And of course, the press is here, ready to smear it all over the front page. Damn it. Last thing this department needs is another PR nightmare. Not now. No shit. I guess I better get on the job then. Not like I had any other plans anyway. <laughs> Uh, Reggie, listen. We need to we need to call her someone fast. We got a lot of heat coming from the deputy chief on this. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I get on it. All right. So now I'm free to investigate the crime scene, I guess. See what I can find. A uh, steam pipe. One of the city's steam, steam vents reminds me there's always something boiling away beneath the streets. Well, yeah. And you can actually investigate what you see. Just by scrolling on your mouse. And I'm gonna see what I can get here. Unni, to serve and protect. I wonder, does somebody still believe in that? Because I sure as hell don't. <laughs> Mr. Positive. And uh, what do we have here? Uh, Nadia Roberts, always looking for the big scoop to get her into major networks. RG1 News. Okay, so she's a journalist. Or a parasite, or how you wanna put it. Uh, press. <laughs> Those vultures doesn't waste any time. This is probably already in the news. Okay, so... I'm gonna try to talk to Nadia here then. Detective! Uh, okay, so I can keep cool or stay annoyed. I guess I'm gonna keep my cool because, well, the police force doesn't need any more PR, you know, the bad kind. Nadia Roberts, come to make a weather report. <laughs> it's nice to see you too, Reggie. Any words on what's going on here? Uh... Okay, gonna be professional here. Uh, you know I can't comment. What you can't? I know I can't comment on an ongoing investigation, Nadia. Ah, come on, Reggie. Okay then. What about the rumors persisting about your partner, Detective Deshawn? Okay, I haven't met that fellow yet. Uh, okay, no comment. Rumors. Ah, I'm gonna go for that. What the hell are you talking about? You're telling me that you have no idea about the deal your partner made with the department of the books? There's been talk of an internal cover-up involving one of his informants. Tyrone is the most honest cop I know. Uh, why don't you take your bullshit and go smear it someplace else? Thanks for squat, Reggie. All right, so I guess they meant my partner there. Okay, I'm gonna talk to this police officers here. Uh, looks like we got quite a crowd here. Tell me about it, sir. Guess the victim is a real big shot, huh? Was now he's just a headline. What do you need, detective? Uh, pff, day shift. <laughs> to get off this goddamn night shift. Seems like months since I've seen the sun. Sounds good to me, Reg. Anything else? Uh, okay, who found it? The corpse, I guess. Who found the body? Some homeless fella caught him for a public <laughs> urination. Okay, so it took like a leak. Uh, yeah, real highlight of the night. All guy wanted to cut the deal, said he saw some dogs milling around and came to check it out. You checked him? Yeah, he is harmless. Uh, the victim? So who's the stiff? Uh, you're not going to believe it. It's Dimitri Neveski, aka Arkenny, our favorite. Honest businessman. Okay, so I guess he's a Russian mobster. Uh, no shit. Never thought I'd be the head of uh, the Kashuka Brotherhood himself. Didn't he sue for slander with the Inquirer called him that? When the Inquirer called him that? 
Yeah, and warm too. He was modest that way. Okay, eyewitnesses. Uh, you canvass the area for witnesses. Anyone hang around here? Sure did. Came up with nada though. Some kids running through here at times, but that's uh, about it. That's about it. Uh, nothing else? Nope. Check in with the corner, though he might have something. Thanks, Scott. She still be pulling your ass out of the fire? Really? I just got luck. <laughs> Lucky with that sicko, sir. Don't be too modest, Kate. You did good. Really showed everyone you got guts. Ah, okay, so it's the same, uh, well, police officers that took care of the molester. I thought they seemed familiar. I don't know if there's anything else here. The paramedic seems to be here. The body's probably on the other side of the ambulance. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the crime scene then. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, <laughs> the meat wagon has seen better days, but even the newest medical miracle couldn't save this guy. Alright. Tyrone. Okay, he was a former SWAT guy. Tyrone used it to be the first through the door. Then he got old. Oh. Oh well, he's still badass, so... I don't see any problem with that. I'm gonna talk to Mr. Tyrone. No, oh, I already done that. There we go. Wrong button. Pardon. Tyrone. Uh, hi, Reggie. Quite the mess we got here. You might want to check out the body. Someone did a real number on Arcane. Arcane. Uh, that's worth a peek then. Guess he got what he. Guess he got was. Oh fucking hell. Guess he got what was coming. Protect and serve, Reggie. Protect and serve. Even the scumbags. And that's the problem with this whole system. <laughs> yeah, that summons it up, pretty much. Okay, see what I can find. What the fuck is this? Okay, graffiti. Can I find some clues there, perhaps? Uh, Satan has you charming. Okay. Uh, Mike Graves. Mike used to be a crime tech. Well, kind of CSI, I guess. But then the city made budget cuts. Now serves as a overburdened corner investigator. Has been dealing with the shit even longer than me. Oh Christ. Poor guy. Talk about downgrading the career there. Uh, see what I can find here. Ah, footprints. Uh, shoe prints actually. Alright. The rain has done a number of them. Anything else? The fuck do we have here? A condom used. Oh, nice. I don't wanna know. Okay, I'm gonna check out the body then. The body. Alright, so I got like six evidence spots here on the corpse. Around the corpse to be exact. But I'm gonna talk to Mr. Mike Graves. As I talk, god damn it. Uh, what we got? Male concussion, late 50s, one bullet hole in the back of the head with substantial GSR around it. Exit wound through the lower face, indicating an elevated firing angle. Holy fucking hell. Right, I guess that rules out suicide. Ah, uh, yeah. Heavy gunshot residue. residue uh, barrel must have been really close then. Yeah, we're talking about inches here. Okay, we're talking inches here. Uh, anything else? Uh, any other marks of or bruises? Sure. Looks like his right elbow and knee were busted pretty good. How? How do you mean busted? 
I say his elbow was twisted violently and his knee took a serve impact to the side, shattering the patella completely. Oh fucking hell, that must have hurted as hell. Oh yeah, that's got to hurt. Footprints. Uh, what about the, uh, these footprints? I took some photographs, but with all this rain, I doubt they'll give us anything definitive. Yes, great. That's enough. Thanks. Uh, don't mention it. You might want to check out the body more closely. Alright. Uh, gonna start with the gun. Looks like a Beretta, I think. And you can actually, as you see here, investigate the evidence. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, magazine release. How many rounds are missing from the magazine? Two rounds. So... The murderer shot him two times in the head at close range. Sounds like a hitman job, I think. Okay, gonna put that away. Gonna check out the trigger. How about fingerprints? Any identification yet? Uh, primary results show only prints from the victim. So the, you know, the guy or girl who did it was using, well, gloves probably. So it's a well, as I said, professional job. A hitman job. What else? What the fuck is this? Serial number? Serial number seems to be filed off. Yeah, I don't think this gun is in the registry. Tough luck. What about the splatter? That's a lot of gore. Yep, the barrel's covered in brain tissue. Oh, nice. Nice, man. Uh, I think that was all with the gun. So you're gonna put that away. Check out the other stuff. Number of shells. Even before you ask, it's too early to say if the amount of shells is accurate. Two, uh, two does match the number of rounds missing from the magazine though. Yes, as well as the number of bullet wounds. But we haven't searched the surroundings yet. There could still be more. Keep me informed. Match the gun? Does the shells match the gun? From the looks of it. But, you, but you'll but you get confirmation when the ballistic uh, report comes back. Uh, prints? Can we get fingerprints from the shell uh, casings? Maybe. I don't know. I just uh, do the tagging and bagging. Okay, what about this then? Anything else on the victim? He also got the broken wrist and GSR on his right hand. That's weird. Don't see any other guns around here. That thought had crossed my mind too. Fucking strange. Uh, what about the briefcase? No, what the hell are you doing? Drugs. What the? Looks like at least a kilo of coke. At least. That's a small fortune right there. I wonder why they left it. Beats me. Okay, can I take the drugs? Uh, <clears throat> Someone left a fortune in blow behind. I wonder why. What the fuck is this? What the hell? Did you find something? Picture of a girl. She looks like she's barely out of grade school. Jesus Christ. It's a sick world. Let me beg th bag that for you. Okay, anything else? Normally there's like hidden, you know, facts. Uh, I mean hidden, you know, stuff in the bag. Because I heard a doubt that this is everything. But I can't find anything else. You know, hidden spaces in the... Well, the casket. Or briefcase, I mean. Well, that seems to be all. So there's pretty much nothing else I can do besides the leg. What's on his ankle? Dogs. Dogs? Yeah, dogs, as in dog bites. 
couple hours ago someone's best friend was ripping flesh off fucking hell was ripping flesh off our victim here that's sick man oh nice I don't know if I can get anything else out of this but crime scene I'm gonna talk to Tyrone because I think I have done everything here Okay, there were actually six crime scene investigation spots. Uh, I got the plumere here, Reg. You want to look around some more or start figuring things out? Uh, okay, ready. What did your pals in blue manage to piece together? Based on this, we're looking at the deal gone bad. Yeah, how did they figure? Well, let's lay, out the, uh, lay it out step by step. Right, so Arkini comes over here to do some kind of deal. Uh, a little after hours business, as it were. Sure, looks like it. Uniforms uh, have it as a meet, has it as a meet between Arkini and another boss. And probably a couple of gangsters as well. Could be, hard to tell. Which footprints are fresh though? Rain's made a real mess of things. Could have been just two guys for all we know. I suppose. Anyway, it looks like things went uh, sour. And one way or another, Arkin ended up with a bullet through, through his skull. Uh, yeah, but I only saw two shells uh, by the body. And if I had to guess, they were both from his gun. Two shots is pretty restrained for a bunch of hoods though, especially if Arkini got off the first round. And he can't have been here by himself, right? Uh, since we don't have any more bodies here, uh, I figured they must have run off uh, after Arkini got killed. Uh, the uniforms think he was overpowered by a mul multiple perps. What the fuck is that? Perps? And shot in the back of the head. Alright. Well, one guy could have pulled that off if he was really good. Been watching Death Wish again, Reggie. Don't knock the classic uh, tie. Anyway, if Arkeny was alone, he pulls his piece and squeezes it off uh, around. But this guy is already going for his wrist. Follows up with a solid blow to Arkin's elbow, joint for good measure. Right, and the knee, uh, kneecap is the finisher. Nobody fights back with one of those busted. I don't care who you are. So that's when he takes his gun and plan plants it against the back of Arkin's head and boom, pop, goes the weasel. Yeah, saw some shit like that in the army. These speed cops don't have your imagination, Reg. See this badge tie? It's my license to have an <laughs> imagination. But if uh, bangers down, uh, down at Arkney, why did they leave the case with the goods behind? Good question. I figure Arkney managed to get a shot at their boss guy, uh, at their boss guy's bleeding out in the mud uh, during the fight. And the bangers panic and haul him off to be pitch patched up. Who has the imagination now? But yeah, I can see that. Uh, no way to tell if there was uh, anyone bleeding out there though. Yeah, with all the oil and shit on the ground, there's no amount of uh, lumen oil uh, that solved this one. A pro would, would have just left the case behind, of course. And dumped the gun, yeah. Don't want to be dragging evidence around. Arkin and drugs though. The north side 13 run most of that shit around here. Maybe the Kushaks were expanding a bit. Someone didn't like it and they sent a special message. You may be right. What uh, do we want to go with then? Oh shit. Well... My honest opinion would be that it's a solo job, I think. But it's hard to tell. 
you got the footprints, but they could have been like one hell of a struggle. I mean, any of those versions could be accurate. It's hard to tell. But I find it hard to believe that he came to this, like, <laughs> meeting all alone with, you know, <laughs> a bag. I mean, not bag, but briefcase full of cocaine, like one kilo. That's like a shitload of money. So I don't think he was alone. So maybe he got, like, backstabbed. That could be it, actually. He went to this drug boss dude and his own men betrayed him. So I think it's a multiple attacker kind of thing. I suppose the uniforms may be on something. It's not always like in the movies, is it? Right. We, uh, we're not going to figure this out standing here in the rain, though. Look, I know a guy used to, uh, used to run with Arkness Group back in the day. He was always solid for Intel, but he's been out of the game for a while now. Hum, is this by any chance the same inf informant that Nadia mentioned? Huh? What did she say? Don't tell me she's actually onto something. She didn't say much really, just asked about the deal you made. It's nothing. I don't want to get into it right now. Fine, but who is this guy anyway? Joel was a middleweight mover making deals all over. Even tried to bust the guy a couple of times, but he always gave me the slip. So how did you get him to turn rat? He wanted out, so he cut the deal to take down his former comrades. Wipe clean his step to society sort of thing. Okay. I guess this is like one way road. A uh, typical scumbag. Why? Why did he want out of all of a sudden? He found the American dream, a wife, a kid and an honest job. I gave this guy a call, he might still have contacts. Hey yo, it's been a while. I know, I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. I know what I promised but I need your help. Okay, should I interrupt or wait? Uh, I think it uh, would be rather rude to interrupt, so I'm gonna wait. Yo, listen to me. Arkin is dead. What do you mean? Enough whining, just give me the damn phone. Look, yo. Who is this? You play your cards right and I might be your new best friend. Look, man, I'm out of the game, have been for a while. So I heard, you kicked it and got to the American dream, huh? Liking it, or did you have it, having a kid ruin your sex life? What the hell, come on, that's your business, asshole. Mutual benefit, a favor. So you're really out? Yeah, been clean for a long time, and working a steady 9 to 5 right now. Well, ain't you a real boy scout? Someone blew Arkenis' brains out. No surprise there. Nope. That motherfucker finally got what he deserved. Too bad his fellow comrades are going, going ape shit here. Forget it, I can't help you. And then there's the reporter here too, Nadia Roberts. She's asking about the deal you made with uh, my party Tyrone. What? How does she know about that? Don't know. You get me something and I deal with the reporter. Deal? I, I need an hour. Fine, meet me at the old market by the docks. All good? Good enough. You ready to hit the bricks then? Not yet. Just give me a sec. There's something I want to check first. Sure thing. Let me know when you're good to go. Well, I think this would be a good place to wrap things up because I've been playing for over 20 minutes and I think you guys get a pretty good picture of what the detail is all about. So hopefully you like it. So like always, feel free to subscribe and of course comment if you want to and of course check out the Steam page for the details so you can buy the game and play it yourself. And uh, I'm just going to mention one more thing. You know, those comic strips throughout the game, that actually made me think about uh, Max Payne. 
And of course the whole, you know, this crime investigation thing that made me get some CSI and Bones vibes. So, there you have it. I just want to point it out. So, take care people. This is VX signing out. Bye bye.